doing this drill before you head off to the first tee will prime you to have the best round of your life. And why that is, is because this drill gets the body moving exactly how it needs to, to control your accuracy and control your distance. Why that is, is because this drill gives you perfect, smooth, controlled body rotation in the downswing. And when you have smooth body rotation, Going through that downswing, you're going to be able to control one, your club face. The club face is going to stay nice and square to the arc as we move through. So it's going to give you that really good controlled actually that we need to play good golf. And rotation, going through there and proper rotation gives you great power through the shot as well. Really gets you to where you're hitting the ball as far as you can do for the swing you've got. So you'll be hitting one really good length golf shots which we need to play good golf, and two, you will not be hitting it all that far offline. And what this drill is, is setting up to the ball in a impact position, and then swinging from there. Remember, this is a drill before you go and tee off. So, rotated hips, I wanna rotate them as much as I can, rotate my chest as much as I can, which will be a little bit less than your hip rotation, weight 90% on that lead leg, and we want that right shoulder down to the right hip. And then what we do, we swing up from there, and swing through. And that's then we end up springing through that movement in a downswing with this really good in sequence rotation. But let's explain it a little bit more in depth because the better we understand it, the better control we have over it. Let's go into a little analysis here of me doing the drill and we'll talk about it. So let's take a deep dive into this preset rotation drill and why it's gonna be so helpful for you before you go and play your round of golf. So preset rotation drill, like we went over the setup, we're rotated as much as we can with the hips, as much as we can with the upper body. We've got some nice side bend here, so where the right side is as close as you can comfortably get it to the right hip, and our weight is 90% on that left leg. So what we're gonna see here is I'm gonna spring back, spring through. So this is our starting position. And as we see, I'm now springing back, getting up to, let's say a three quarter type of backswing here. And then from there, because we started in that position, we're gonna now be unwinding in a really good sequence of downswing. So it's gonna prime that lower body and mid torso to turn first and everything from rib cage and down or rib cage and up stays where it is. So we're gonna see really, really good downswing sequencing. It's gonna promote that shaft to shallow, continuing to turn, nice, smooth, gradual rotation. So that's the power portion of that is getting that lower body mid torso to turn first from that sequencing that we've set up at. So from there, we can see another really, really good thing is the stability of this, our club face. So we're gonna see this club face here be really under control going through that golf ball. It's gonna stay nice and square to the arc as we move through. So you can see the club face hasn't quickly wrapped around and closed because it doesn't need to because that club face is nice and square to the arc for the entirety of that downswing. So that's why there is no closing mechanism that needs to happen. You don't have to roll the club face closed if it's already square to the arc, which we can see it is. Then it's just a matter of rotating through, priming that movement to happen to get that club moving through the golf ball in a nice passive manner. So it unwinds everything for you. Lower body, mid torso starts working first, creates that good rotation, keeping things on path, keeps the power moving through there, keeps that continuous rotation to keep the speed going through, and it helps that club face become very stable going through the golf ball. So you can imagine how repping that out for five minutes before you go play, how it's gonna encourage you to have this really, really good rate of rotation for this really good accuracy, really good speed, to go and rep it out here before you go play your round of golf. So as we can see, we really do want to warm up doing this drill. Even just doing it for five minutes before we go and play is really gonna help that body move in. One, it's gonna stretch the body out a little bit. So if you feel a little bit tight before you head off the first tee, just getting in that preset position really helps stretch you out a little bit but also it's gonna help you again prime that downswing nicely. So then if I go into then a normal shot from there, 
it then really helps me move as good as I can possibly move before I go on to the first tee. So again, it's helped me in my golf massively, but it's also helped my students. I do this drill all the time with my students. And here's a good before and after of my student, Tak from Japan. Now Tak is amazing at the improvements he's made in his golf swing. We've worked on a load of things getting his swing to where it is. But this was really the big needle move. As you can see him with the before here, he really had no rotation, a little bit of a jump stool and a flip with the hands. And then we got him to where he was then doing this preset rotation drill, getting through that shot, nice smooth rotation. That resulted in doing some swings, really staying in unbelievably good posture with really, really good rotation too. So you could even go and play rounds of golf doing this drill. And to show it, I filmed a video this time last year doing that of me playing nine holes with a drill, shot traces on everyone. Here's a few clips of me doing it. And it really felt okay out there with a little bit of practice and a little bit of repetition doing it. I'm sure could really shoot some really good scores doing it. And you can do it yourself there. So absolutely, even though it's a great warm up drill to get the body moving, and get the body moving exactly how you want to, resulting in these crazy straight shots. But absolutely, you can go and play golf with it too. But here is one big thing here, guys, is if you then go into your shot and you notice, wow, I just can't replicate that same rotation even slightly. It's really hard to do. Even let's say you've been doing this for a while, this preset rotation drill, but you can't still get that rotation into your swing like you were doing with your drill, why that is, it's because you might have things in your golf swing that are stopping you from rotating. So there is a number of different things. I filmed a video recently talking about this. So you've always got to make sure your golf swing is in a place to be able to rotate. And luckily, like I said, I've got videos on the topic, but I've also got a full course called The Ultimate Guide to Rotation, which is down in the description there. And it's everything you wanna know about how to get rotation into your golf swing and everything about drills to get them into. And you can personalize it to yourself with that course. And it's on the app version of Skidus. It is soon going to be on a website on its own for you to watch also, which will be brilliant. But also if you need my help personally, also a link on description for online lessons with myself. So really from there, let's get grinding on that drill. And then once we get that drill and do a ton of it, then we can go in and get on that first tee. So like I said, only five minutes before going and playing, and then we can then prime ourselves to have the best round we can possibly do hitting shots as straight as that. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction, just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.